thousands of Americans are in debt. News 12's uh, Bonnie Schneider recently found out it's very easy to get into debt, but not as easy to get out. All right, thank you. Timothy McCallum is president of the American Debt Management Services, and he's here to tell us why people get into a debt and uh, into debt and how you can avoid it. Tim, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I guess it's easy to get into debt, right? You just spend more than you make. These days, yeah, it seems to be. Um, we see a, a few different reasons why consumers get themselves into debts. One is medical emergency due to a family tragedy. Uh, also, uh, loss of job due to um, ah, sorry layoffs or what layoffs, things fired. of that nature and uh, overextension on their expenses due to uh, mismanagement of money. Okay. Do, are we seeing more of it nowadays, Tim, or is it uh, kind of in line with, you know, 5, 10, 15 years ago? It seems to be more prevalent today because it's so easy to get a credit card now. Uh, right. They're pre-approved in the mail, and consumers tend to use them in place of money. Okay. Now you have some questions that you should ask yourself, right? If you feel yourself getting into too much debt. Sure. Most consumers should ask themselves the questions, are you nearing or are you at your credit limit? Um, are you able to make your monthly payments? And is 20% of your disposable income going towards paying those required monthly minimums? If so, that's a telltale sign that you should go ahead and uh, look for some type of financial planning or help. Is, is that the formula, Tim? 20%, in other words, of your take-home pay, 20% of it going toward paying off credit card bills, that's too high? That's too high. <coughs> that's yeah. about the maximum. You're, in a, you're in a trouble situation there. Okay. And how about how much credit you carry over month to month? I guess that varies on your income. But it varies on your income, but the average family carries about $4,000 in credit card debt. What wow. we see the average at is about $12,000 in credit card debt for the consumers that come and ask for our help. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. We're back with Timothy McCallan, president of the American <coughs> Debt Management Services. Got some advice for anyone who is in debt. Okay, Tim. We're in debt. What do we do to get out of it? First point we have to do is set up a budget. We have to find out where is your money coming from and where is it going. Okay. And if so, we have to make certain changes to the consumer's budget. Um, we may cut off some luxury items that they're using at that time. If there's a surplus, uh, we'd make recommendations. And if there's a deficit, we'd also make certain recommendations. At that time, if the consumers are not able to afford their monthly payments on their credit cards, we'd recommend a debt management program. Okay. And, uh, and what is that? That's more of a full-scale push? That's, yeah, it's kind of a full-scale push into okay. financial counseling for the consumer, but it's good. Uh, it's a point to start from and to start to recover and get their debts down to a zero balance. Okay. We can lower the monthly payments. We can lower their interest rates. Um, we can also reduce uh, over-limit fees and late charges. And we can get it into one simple monthly payment for the consumer for ease and convenience. Tim, just get into a little bit about your company. What is it? Our company is a not-for-profit um, debt management company. Uh, we're licensed by the New York State Banking Commission, and it's important that you know that the company that you're dealing with uh, does have those credentials. Oh, so you're non-profit. Anyone at all can call you up and say, you know, I, I'm over my head in bills, and, and you take it from there? Anytime, day or night. We're open 24 hours as far as our uh, hotlines there, and uh, we're able to process consumers' accounts within 24 hours. Uh, are there fees involved, Tim? Their nominal fees are on a sliding scale basis, and that depends upon the amount of debt that you carry. Who are your clients? I mean, are, are younger folks, uh, you know, in their 20s, or is it married couples, older folks, everybody? Who the, the average client that comes in is actually about 25 to 45 years old. Um, uh -huh. Half are married, half are single. Uh, that's what we see across the uh, nation. And what are they charging with credit cards? I mean, how are they so in debt? Is it, you know, th they're going to restaurants three nights a week, or is it more like what you'd call necessity items that they just can't pay? It's funny you should say that because it is a necessity items that they're buying, but also they're using it for gasoline, they're using it for food out there, disposable wow. goods that the next day you're paying 18% interest rate on. Wow, some uh, pretty disturbing figures uh, on uh, debt across the island, across the country. But hopefully this will help uh, get people uh, back on the right track. Tim sure. Allen, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you for having me.